Welcome back to Wood Anchors. We're behind the barn again with the goal of completing Bert's new house. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing? You're digging a bed, pup. It's a warm day, huh? You need some cold dirt. Yeah, you did. It is a beautiful sunny day here for the beginning of March, and I think I have everything I need now to finish Bert's house and get him moved in here today. I brought the tools up that I think I need to get finished, and I already got started up here by tightening up all the mesh around this cage. So now the run is almost safe to be a day pen. The last thing I wanna do is put stakes into the ground so it can't be moved or shifted, and the back posts are gonna be strapped to the house. I was originally thinking I could use conduit clamps to attach this to the house, but it doesn't quite make it to the house. Plus, I need a little bit of room for the pulley and and the door latch. So me and my dad were trying to figure out the easiest way to attach this to the house and we figured that's going to be with ratchet straps. Now the only black ratchet straps that they had were 10 feet so we had to get two of them but this hook is going to be able to go around the pipe of the chicken run and I can go from the back of that pipe around the back and over to this pipe where it doesn't even meet up to the house but with a strap it'll be able to pull it in tight. So the stakes here that came with the chicken run only go five inches into the ground so that's not going to hold it in place very well. So I'm going to use these trapping stakes that my dad had from old traps but it's a little bit thicker than those stakes, so I'm going to have to drill out the flanges on the bottom of the chicken run. That's what this is for. They have holes in the flange already, but they're not going to be able to accommodate my bigger stake. And then since the flanges have holes on the inside of the run too, I'll just add these for extra security. We've got some birds making noise above us. And the ducks are out there on a beautiful day enjoying the puddles. And Dizzy's been nagging me to get her out of her cage. She said her kids are bigger than her now and she's ready for them to leave the nest. She also wants to go out and run free with Rufio. So I'm going to get going on this so we can move Bert and the snowballs in here as soon as possible. Got him. Got to make a little hole in the mesh here so I can fit the hook in. <laughs> And that'll work just like that but before I tighten these up I need to spray those with metal protector now we'll do the stakes thing I have to do before I throw in a bunch of dry hay. Puppy, don't shut the door on me, bud. No, I don't I don't really need your help for this part, bud. You're gonna be in here though? Okay. I don't you don't <laughs> you don't have the proper PPE for this puppy. You don't have the proper equipment. Move on. Move on. Out. Out. I don't want to burn your fur. Out. Alright. Hold on. Life. Don't shut the door on me. Be good now. Oh, don't shut me in here, puppy. 
What are you doing, buddy? Hold that open. <laughs> you silly boy. That'll be nice the birds don't have to deal with those. All right, I thought I had a sledgehammer up here at the barn, but I guess I don't. So I'm gonna have to run down to the house, grab a sledge before I can put these tent stakes in. And I also need to grab some metal protector for the ratchet straps. Go on, pup. Progress, puppy. We're making progress. Hey, Sammy. How you doing? You with Anna again? Lucy. Hey, Rufio. You say hi to Dizzy today? Ladies, you're in the mud. What are you doing? Good job, Bert. You keeping everybody together? Look at all these snowballs. What do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's what we're supposed to have. But I'm not sure yet that I want to put all ten in with Bert. Huh, Dizzy girl? We're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost ready for you. It's almost time for you to be released into general population, you two. Hopefully you both are girls and you're gonna get names if you are. Come on, Dizzy. Mambles, how you doing, girl? Coming in, check on ya. We had to move the fence a little bit earlier because there was a chipmunk in here and Echo Pup needed space to hunt it. Huh, bud? You gonna check again? I think it probably ran out by now. But Mumbles, the all-star, laid an egg this morning. A big old beautiful egg. That means she is healthy and operating properly. Hi, huh, ladies? Huh, Pop? That's what I need. If you get out of the corner, you can open up your wings, Mumbles. But you do you. And I got some metal protector. So let's get these straps on. You're just barking back at your echo now. Yeah, the bird's gone. It was just a crow. Now we have the back post strapped to the house and we have the front post staked in with a good one foot stakes up on the front corners too. So with these in now and the back strapped in, I feel like we can put the tarp on the chicken run without any worry of it blowing away. It's a nice and warm day today, but it is pretty windy. Oh, and we can open the door. Ventilation. And I'll put these in all the empty holes that are still left. much safer. All right, now everything is ready for Bert and the snowballs to move in, but we do have one more thing to finish on the house. I do need to throw some hay in there on the floor, but that's pretty much the last step. The perches up there are looking good, but we still need some nesting boxes here on this side. And I'm planning on making it a nesting box that I could pop in and out. So whenever I do a full clean out, I can actually lift the nesting box out of my way and have it look like this for me to get in and out to actually clean the whole thing out. I just want a simple box. I've been using my imagination and I took some measurements. So now we can make some cuts and build it.
Voila. I ain't got my work. Hop up. Well, here is the nesting boxes. I only made three because I'm only gonna have nine to 12 chickens in here and chickens usually share their nesting boxes. You don't need one for every chicken. The middle one's the only one I put a top on. So we're gonna see if they end up liking that one the most or not. But I put a bumper on the front and back to hold a good layer of hay in so they can have a nice soft nest. And this pops in and out so I can get it out of my way whenever I need to do a full clean out. Let's see what it looks like on the inside from the chicken's point of view. Ugh, coming in. So the chickens will have this little roosting bar here in front to give them a nice little easy jump in. But when the door is closed, I think they'll have a nice little cozy spot to lay some eggs. And some nice places to sleep. So I think with the exception of the circle windows I'm gonna put in the A-frame, I think we're done. Doing, Pop. Yeah, this will be a lot easier without the nesting box in there if I ever have to get in there. It'll be nice to be able to just pop the nesting box in and out. Whenever need be. Perfect. Just gonna put a quick little second coat on these, make sure they're nice and protected because they're just gonna be sitting out here in the weather. Well, I have about 30 minutes before I need to close up the barn. And we are just about done on Bert's house here. We do need to get the tarp on for a shade cover there on the chicken run. But tomorrow, I think I can say this without being wrong this time, tomorrow we should be able to move Bert and the snowballs into here and get Dizzy and the kids out of there. Oh, puppy. <laughs> yeah. But that's going to be all for this one. I don't want to try and round up Bert and the snowballs right now. We're probably going to do that in the morning or right before we let them out to free range. If you want to see how we catch Bert and all the snowballs, make sure to subscribe down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to support the channel even more, check out that join button. And you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Okay, go.